Father, we thank you that when weeks are rough and tough, when there's lots of sickness and lots of illness, lots of injury, and lots of loss, you are there. It's because of your unending grace and your love for us that we can see you tomorrow. That we know that this world isn't all there is. That there is a bright and beautiful world in heaven that awaits us all as believers. And so for every person that we mentioned this morning, um, we know that you've heard their names. We know that you know their condition and their plight. And wherever they are, you are there with them. On this side of heaven or the other. And as we walk this earth and live our lives, that is such good and reassuring news to each and every one of us. But as we think about today's scripture and what that means in our life, if we walk away from that, we're walking away from the picture of your salvation, the picture of what lies ahead, of what your hope for us is. So in this world that's full of contention and strife, help us to remain strong. Help us to believe in your word and to believe in you and your son Jesus Christ. And to know in our heart of hearts that you have each and every situation of each and every person in your hand. All we have to do is look to you and believe. Help us as a church, as Bethel, to continue to believe in you. We've been doing it for over 200 years as family. Both family literally and the family of believers. Keep us strong. Help us not to blend in with anything but you so that we stick out in the world. We ask this in the name of Jesus who died for us, who rose again. It's in his name we pray. Amen. The final hymn for this morning. Blessed be the time that binds.
talk about what's going to be happening in the next couple weeks, okay? We're called to belong, not to just believe. We are called to be joined together, bound together, held together, fitted together. We are called to be members together, one with each other, together in Christ, knowing this and believing it then. Go in peace to love, to love and serve the Lord. Have a great week. We'll see you here next week. Same time, same place.